It is quite possible that you have heard about the spirit of Jezebel at least once in your life, but the vast majority of people believe that it is only associated with the sins of prostitution and perversion. However, in reality, it is not just that. The spirit of Jezebel possesses many characteristics that hinder the growth of the church and drive people away from the presence of God. And you must be wondering, but pastor, who was Jezebel? Jezebel is considered the worst woman in the entire Old Testament. She was married to King Ahab and brought pagan practices to Israel that greatly displeased God. She was a very wicked queen who promoted idolatry and killed many prophets, as well as persuading her husband to worship a god other than the Lord. She supported 850 prophets of the gods Baal and Asherah. These prophets performed detestable rituals, provoking the wrath of God. The evil that dwelled in Jezebel's heart was so great, so strong, that even Elijah, one of the greatest and most important prophets raised by God, fled in fear of her threats and even asked the Lord to take his life. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, it is written, Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left his servant there, while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. But Jezebel was punished. God filled Elijah with courage and he returned and prophesied that she would have a bloody death and that dogs would eat her corpse. And exactly that happened. The Bible tells us that a man named Jehu killed Jezebel's son and because of that, she challenged him. So Jehu sent some men to kill her. They invaded the palace and threw Jezebel out the window. Jehu then ran her over with his horses. When they went to bury her, they only found her skull, feet, and hands as the dogs had eaten the rest. Jezebel's actions against the people of God were so destructive that her name was adopted by a very powerful evil spirit whose sole purpose is to destroy God's authority. And its favorite target is the church. Unfortunately, in almost every Christian community, there is a Jezebel that deceives people and hinders their spiritual growth. And God wants to use us to defeat this evil spirit so that his people can be blessed. But how do we determine if the spirit of Jezebel dwells among us? There are some characteristics that can indicate the presence of a Jezebel in your church. And the first one is prostitution. In the book of Kings chapter 9, it tells us that Jezebel was a vain woman accustomed to achieving her interests through seduction. In the Bible, the term prostitution has the meaning of infidelity, both marital and spiritual. When a person is not faithful to God, they are prostituting themselves, for Jesus said that no one can serve two masters. Jezebel practiced both sexual prostitution, betraying her husband, and sorcery, betraying the God of Israel. The spirit of Jezebel enters churches through people who are not living a life of holiness. Therefore, pastors and other leaders must be cautious about who they place before the altar to minister. I know that we are all flawed sinners, but the person who is in charge of a department in the church needs to be living a life of holiness. A person who is in the sin of fornication and prostitution, for example, is not prepared to lead because they need to be restored. And we must do this with love and patience, never exposing anyone in public. Besides this situation, there is also spiritual prostitution. Many church members are rebellious towards the community where they gather. People like this jump from branch to branch, seeking where they can find someone who pleases them. And every day they look for a church and a pastor who will fulfill their desires. And when they are not satisfied, they create intrigues to undermine the leadership. The second characteristic of the spirit of Jezebel is idolatry. The Bible tells us that Jezebel worshipped idols and had an army of prophets, more than 850 men, supported by her to worship foreign gods. Nowadays, we rarely see this kind of practice, but idolatry goes beyond carved images. Idolatry is anything that takes the place of God in our hearts, for the Lord should be our priority in life. For example, Today, there is a gospel world where personalities such as singers and pastors stand out more for their charisma and talent than for their faith in Jesus. And that's where the spirit of Jezebel operates. It causes people to idolize the gospel celebrity more than the Lord himself. And this is something that God detests. 
The third characteristic of the spirit of Jezebel is manipulation. Jezebel was manipulative, meaning she wanted everything to be her way. She even convinced her husband to abandon the God of Israel and worship the God Baal. Moreover, she was very envious. One time, she schemed a lie to have a man named Naboth killed simply because her husband desired his land. Thus, she took the life and property of an innocent man. A manipulative person lies to achieve what they desire. They betray or stab others in the back and seek revenge on those who refuse to do their bidding. The spirit of Jezebel enters many churches through people who want to control everything. Some of these individuals already hold positions of authority professionally and reflect that attitude within the church, thinking they can give orders to their brethren as if they were employees or subordinates in the workplace. The church is not a place to mistreat anyone, but rather to demonstrate love and companionship. And if someone holds a position of power in society, that should be left outside. In the church, we are all brothers and sisters and should serve one another in love. As the Apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 5, Therefore, we must be careful when appointing someone to a leadership position who does not treat their brethren well. And finally, the fourth characteristic of the spirit of Jezebel is persecution. This woman persecuted the prophets of God to the point that many had to hide to avoid being killed. Many prophets even died because of Jezebel, and Elijah himself was threatened by her. One of the reasons for this persecution is that the prophets of that time spoke the truth and not what Jezebel and her husband wanted to hear. Similarly, the spirit of Jezebel can be observed in churches where people are persecuted by their own brothers and sisters. There are churches where everything is already so established that when a man or woman of God proposes changes, they are persecuted and face external persecution from people or situations that come from outside the church. It is something normal, but the spirit of Jezebel operates within the church. This is a strategy of the enemy to weaken the people of God, for Jesus said, Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Therefore, be very careful with people who speak ill of their fellow brothers or persecute leaders and members, for they are being used by the spirit of Jezebel. I know that we don't need to agree with everything we see and hear in the church, but God calls us to intercede and exhort if necessary, not to cause divisions or fights. And as we saw at the beginning of this video, the end of Jezebel's life was terrible. Moreover, in the book of Revelation, Jesus gives the following warning to the church of Thyatira for tolerating this spirit of Jezebel among them. He said, I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I've given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely, unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. So, if there is someone in your church with these characteristics, start praying for that person as they may be under the influence of a demonic spirit that needs to be expelled. But be careful not to be used by the enemy by engaging in gossip and defaming that person. Love is the fulfillment of the law. And as Christians, we should seek peace above all else. Many of these individuals are merely religious and have not yet had a true experience with God, so they need us to bless them. However, if the person refuses to be treated, there is nothing that can be done. The Bible is very clear about what God will do to those who allow any demonic spirit to dominate their lives. The psalmist wrote, Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. If you enjoyed this message, please share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. May God bless you.